On this Money Saving Monday, we're taking a closer look at car costs and asking the question you may be asking yourself, is my vehicle worth repairing or should I replace it? 12 News journalist Trisha Hendricks joins us live in Phoenix with some expert advice. Trisha. Hey, Tram. Yeah, as one Valley man found out, finding a professional that he could trust made all the difference. It was really key when it came time to make that difficult decision, putting money into making a, a new repair, getting his car fixed once again, or just purchasing a new car altogether. Well, I had the same car for 13 years, and I spent a lot of money keeping it running. When you buy a car and grow to love it, like Leroy Yeager from El Mirage, you want to hold on to it. That is, until an auto repair shop breaks the news to you. Finally, Dave said you need to park it. <laughs> then he made the decision. Yeah, I better buy another car. Sometimes it's just time because of safety concerns. It's an older vehicle. It requires costly repairs. So how much money did you spend on the one you loved before you got the 2011? Oh, 35000 It all just kind of builds. New tires, new brakes, probably the transmission. The reality is some big financial implications and benefits can come with both repairing your current vehicle or finding a new or new to you car. There's a lot that you got to evaluate. Dave Martin with Martin's Auto Repair in Phoenix weighs in. You don't want a car that's unreliable and unsafe and is just in the shop all the time. When do you know if it's time to replace or repair? Let's just say it needs a thousand dollars worth of repairs. Why do you want to take a thousand dollars repairs and, 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 and turn it into a forty thousand dollar car? Spending Money fixing a car or finding a new one both have pros and cons. Buying a new car, your insurance is going to go up, your tags, you know, to register them is going to go up. The rule of thumb you don't want the repair bill to exceed the value of the vehicle. Typically, if you repair your car, you can save money and you won't have to get new insurance. But if you replace your car, you can rest easy with the safer drive and save money on future repairs. So the bottom line is it really depends on the person and the car. Right. As for Leroy, he never actually got rid of his old car. It's still in his garage. No matter how bad it was, it never left me on the side of the road and I'll never leave it on the side of the road. You kept it and you also got a new one. Yes. Leroy hopes to restore it one day. But I got to play the lottery first, right? Right. Okay, well, good luck. Yeah, right. <laughs> So with that being said, consider the pros and cons of each move as you crunch the numbers when you're trying to decide whether to replace or repair. For this car, just for an example, two or $300 for a new battery. It's looking like it's low right now. So again, it may not be into the thousands, but those small repairs can really add up. Tram, back to you. Good info, Trisha. Thank you. We've got more.